Hey. Can you let me in? Okay, wait. In a previous video, I showed you how I installed 3CX telephone system on a Raspberry Pi using Twister OS. This is basically part two of the video. As I mentioned in the previous video, I was trying to think of what else I can do with 3CX PBX system running on a Raspberry Pi. So I thought, well, since this is going to be permanently running silently in the background, why not make a front door intercom system with video capability? I totally understand that there are hundreds of other alternatives in the market that are less cumbersome. But this is the Raspberry Pi world and our goal is to create crazy off the wall things. This whole project didn't cost me much other than this tablet security case holder for about 7 US dollars. That's because I already have a tablet and a Raspberry Pi. If you don't have a tablet and a Raspberry Pi, of course this will cost you a little bit more. I know, I know, before you all think that I'm insane for mounting this on glass, this is not a permanent setup. This is for demonstration purposes only. And this is simply just one application of this system. There are lots of other ways anyone can take advantage of this technology. Of course, for a business, this will require a license. I can think of this being used in a reception area where there is some type of controlled access to the floors or to the offices area. That way a visitor can simply dial the extension of a specific office and request access. This can also be used at the gate of a residence or a business. It can serve whatever purpose you think of. Anyway, let me show you how I did this. So basically what I did is I turned in an old tablet to a kiosk. I did this using fully kiosk browser app. This is an app that you can download for free. If you want, you can get a license in order to get rid of the activation message. The cost of one license is about eight US dollars. As you can see, I have purchased the license because I have that kind of money. Now let's get to work. On your tablet, you want to make sure you have fully kiosk browser downloaded. Once that's downloaded, check and make sure you have 3CX app downloaded as well. Now that we have both, we need to go to the tablet settings and change two items. The first one is display. We need to adjust it to ideally, I think 30 seconds is perfect. The next thing will be your lock screen and security that needs to be changed from swipe to none. You do not want to worry about your visitors swiping left and right or any of that. They need to be able to access the dial pad immediately. Next, we'll go ahead and open fully kiosk browser, swipe from left to right and go to settings. In settings, we need to scroll down to motion detection. And here you want to make sure that motion detection is enabled. That way, if someone approaches the tablet, the camera will detect the presence of an individual and it will turn itself on. Set the sensitivity to your liking. I set mine at 80, which seems to be working out okay for me. You can also enable acoustic motion detection. This will turn on screen as soon as any sound is detected in the vicinity. I set mine up to 80. Keep in mind that the speaker will be muffled a little bit when it is inside the secure case. So you have to adjust the microphone sensitivity accordingly. I'm turning mine off for the moment to stop the tablet from going on and off as I'm speaking. Next, we will need to enable remote administration. If you choose to enable this, you will be able to change settings remotely from a computer or another tablet. And this is your remote access IP address. Now go back to the main menu. This is the last step and the most important step. This will enable kiosk mode and lock the tablet. Go ahead and enable kiosk mode and disable home button and other apps. We do not need any other apps to interfere with what we're trying to do. We only need this to use 3CX. So we're going to need to touch single app mode. Make sure it is enabled. Select single app. Pick an app. And of course we want to pick 3CX and we're almost done I promise. 
Just go ahead and tap the back button on your tablet to return to the main menu and once again to exit. You should see something like this displaying permission required. Tap OK and allow permissions. Yes, allow or deny location. That is up to you. Allow manage phone calls. Activate and finally answer yes to switch to kiosk mode and choose fully kiosk browser. This will take us straight to the app that we picked, which is 3CX in our case. At this point, your device will serve one purpose and one purpose only, and that is 3CX. To unlock the tablet and disable kiosk mode, all we have to do is tap on the screen seven times. That should trigger the login window. The default pin is 1234, and you can change it. We can change it by going to kiosk menu and kiosk mode pin. You can enter whatever your heart desires and tap OK. Same steps to exit. Now let's test a video call. You will need to dial the extension first. Once connection is established, go ahead and touch the video icon. And there you go. Here's a quick assembly instructions for the Intitef tablet security case holder. There's not much to it. It's pretty straightforward. Just be aware that if you choose to place this outside, it should not be exposed to the element, such as rain or direct sunlight. I also recommend applying some type of sealant where the screen of the tablet comes in contact with the frame and on the top to prevent dust and moisture from penetrating the case. One issue that I run into is that the camera on my tablet is not where the hole is located on the case, so I have to drill a small hole where the camera is on my device. Not an issue, I think I can handle that. One last thing before locking the tablet in the case, make sure you have the USB cable connected and make sure you have a power source where you will be mounting it. Now that the tablet is locked in the case, you really don't have to keep messing with it. That is why remote administration is important. You can pretty much do anything on the kiosk browser remotely from another device. Remote administration menu is similar to the one on the tablet. Just make sure you have a strong login password and have fun. Let me know what you think and if you have any ideas or implementations of 3CX on a Raspberry Pi, drop them in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.